I had to learn to use the map when I first got into the UK three years ago and today I'm going to show you how to navigate the map like a pro. The Google map is one of the easiest apps in our phone but the first time we look at it or we use it, it might be just be difficult for us to understand what we have to do or what the various symbols or features signify and that is what I'm going to show you today. It's going to be a very quick video where I show you all the features of the map, how to navigate to different locations, how to even find out what time you should leave your location, wherever you are. Anyways, without wasting much time, let's go right into it. Hello, hello, it's your girl Chi. Welcome to Chi on Demand. Thank you for tuning in. If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate you. And if you yet to subscribe to my channel, this is your chance to subscribe to this channel that gives all the value that is worth it in the world. <laughs> now I'm hyping myself. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe to my channel. Please let me know in the comment section so that I can give you a special shout out. I genuinely enjoy interacting with you all in the comment section. I reply every comment and I can't wait to meet you. Now I'm in the Google map and I'm going to take a few minutes to show you around the map and the various features that the map possesses so that you'll be able to use the map to your advantage. I'll also show you how to find places near you and how to navigate between various locations and how to discover your location if in doubt. Okay, we're currently in the explore section and uh, if you can look at the bottom of the screen, you can see explore, you can see go, you can see saved. Um, we can actually use the go, the go button if we you know, when we want to put in the location that we are trying to go to and then it to show us the different routes. Then you have this rumble sign that is at the top right of the video. When you click on this uh, sign, it shows you the various types of map. It shows you the map type and it shows you the map details. As you can see from this video, we're in the satellite end because that's the one I use the most because I'll show you the difference between the satellite end and the default one. So we're in the satellite type of map and the, for the map details we're using, I always use public transport because I mean, that's what I use all the time. Then you have the one for traffic. If you're trying to find out where there is traffic, you have for cycling. So it just depends on what you want. For instance, if I select defaults and uh, public transports as usual, and I go back to the map, you see that everything changes. It's not how it was before. I'm zooming in and you can see what it looks like. Yeah, but if I go back to satellite again, yeah i'm zooming in can you see so satellite is more colorful and more dramatic it shows you all the houses it shows you the gardens it shows you any trees around it shows you the bus stop like so that is why i use it more often so that's the same way if you also want to check out traffic you can select traffic and you can see all the colors have changed it's showing you where there's traffic and where there is no traffic. It's currently about midnight right now. So that's why everywhere is green. So let me go back to my public transport area. And then we come down to the bottom right of the video and we can see the arrowhead over there. This arrowhead is used to find your location. So you find yourself somewhere and you want to just quickly see what is going on around you, where you are and everything. If you just click on the arrow, it shows you everything. If you're getting value from this video, please give it a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend it to more people. Also, if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload information like this. I do this every single week and you don't want to miss out on it. So please keep me motivated. Thank you guys. Share this with your friends and anybody that might need it. You never can tell. The other arrow, which is down here, when I click on it, that's the symbol that was below the arrowhead. When you click on it, it's for, you know, when you want to navigate between two different locations. Let's say, for instance, I'm going to, I'm going somewhere tomorrow and I want to navigate to 
different you know locations that are that i'm not currently in uh like right now i'm in southeast london then let's say i'm going to wc i'm trying to put in the postcode right now wc one v self then but the location where i'll be moving from is a totally different location let's say i'll be going there from this uh se5 hpr so you can use this uh you can use that button to navigate you know two different locations to find out oh, what's the this what's the distance between these two places you know even though you're not in that place what's the mode of transportation how can i get around so we're back to the explore page so let's say you're going somewhere inside the search here tab you can either put the address of where you are going to you can either put the full address or you could put the postcode so in my case right now i'm going to use the postcode and the postcode to the place is wc one v six lf so i put that in once i put that in uh there is the directions there is starts this so you just go ahead and click on directions because that's what you're looking for right the essence of clicking on direction is because you want to see the various options that are available to you so when you click on it it brings out all these various routes it's going to show you a recommended route but it's not necessary it's not compulsory that you must pick that so this means that you enter bus 171 the little arrow in between means that you're going to drop from bus 171 and you're going to find another bus stop where you will enter either bus 1 or bus 168 or bus 188 or bus 171 then there's another little arrow which means you're going to drop from this bus and then you're going to walk three minutes to where you are going to and everything is going to be a total of 32 minutes so let's see the other options we have this other option here that is also two buses but bus 12 and bus 59 so for every small arrow you see that means you're dropping off you're getting down from the bus so these are all the these are the options that we have here so you're going to choose the option that you like which um you'd have to choose depending on the walking distance um uh, the bus stop is it close to you do you have to walk far distance to the bus stop and all of that so another feature of the map that you want to look at is this um depart at 0009 so you can manipulate this thing to suit you so let's say where i'm going to tomorrow i am supposed to be there by let's say 11 o'clock so i'm wondering what time should i leave the house instead of this depart at i can come come in here i can select arrive by and uh, uh, it's already a new day just that it's midnight so i'm going to select 11 so i'm telling the map that i want to arrive by 11 so what are the options available to me and then i click done what you see next explains that you should be leaving the house by 10 10 or 10 14 depending on which route that you're using also if you're taking the walking option you'll be walking for one hour 25 minutes so now when it populates it you can see that there are new routes available look at this second route it says you enter bus 436 you drop down from bus 436 you see this red and blue a sign that is there it is a train so that means for this route once you get down from the 436 bus you're going to enter a train northern railway or something you're going to get down from that train and you're going to enter another train again central i'll open it up so you see so it shows here that you you know that you walk three minutes to your first bus stop you enter the bus you stop at oval station stop d you walk for one minute you enter over this is a train you stop at bank station walk for one minute and enter another train again and stop at holborn and then walk two minutes to your location 
So when I see things like this, I know I'm definitely not taking that route because I'm not going to see two bus routes and I'm going to take this long, complicated route. You can see even our very first um, option now is showing that we may have to work for seven minutes first. We will have to work for seven minutes before we get to the first bus, uh, bus stop. Another feature that this map has is let's say they're showing you only train routes and you don't want to use the train. I do that a lot. Like in London, I, I like to move around with the buses because if even if I enter 100 buses in London, I'm not going to be charged anything more than £4.95. £4 That's the maximum amount of bus fare you can pay in London. But now if I enter a couple of buses and I enter a train as well, I'm going to be charged double because the train will charge me and the bus will charge me. So I prefer to just use bus routes. So if I'm not seeing bus routes, maybe the map is only showing me train routes. You can click on options and you can see the various route options. You can untick all of this tram, train, ferry, so that you're only seeing the bus route and you can go back. And then what it does, uh, it shows, it brings up only bus routes for you. And then you select the one that you prefer. You click on it. Let's say, for instance, we, we take number one. But I won't take number one in real life because I have to walk seven minutes to the bus stop, unlike the other ones. So <laughs> you walk seven minutes to this boner road. You stop here. Luckily for you, the bus stop where you're going to be entering the next bus is exactly the same place. So there's no walk work time between so the interchange bus stop is the same stop bt stop bt you enter the next bus and you stop at stop p and you walk for three minutes and it's very straightforward you want to use this one is still great you walk for two minutes you get to peckham road stop t you stop at elephant and castle you walk one minute enter the same the next bus stop you stop at Kingsway and walk three minutes. So when your bus starts moving, I'm zooming in on the map right now. So all of these um, circles that you're seeing are bus stops. So the bus is going to be stopping at these bus stops for different people. And when you get on the bus and it's moving, when you get to your own bus stop, you're going to press the stop button. It will ring and the driver will know that somebody wants to get down and then you stop. You see the blue lines? That's where you have to walk to the next bus stop where you enter your second bus. With the next bus, you do the same thing. You get there. Here you can see that when you get to your last bus stop, you just have to walk straight and then take your right and then you're at your location so using the map is pretty straightforward hey guys so a uh, quick one um just trying to show you guys how i navigate my map on a regular basis so come with me hope i look good so here i am at the bus stop this is exactly what most bus stops look like they have this banner and a letter that signifies uh, exactly the bus stop and the map will also show you that letter either bus stop p or t or whatever so while you're at the bus stop you see the bus coming you have to wave it down and before you can get in and then when you get in you make your payment you tap with either your bus card or your atm card or uh, if your card is in your phone, you can use the NFC contactless and tap as well. This is a railway sign that I was showing you on the map. In this case, this is for underground, so people have to go down and take the train. I have just dropped down from my first bus. Looking at the map, I can see that I just have to work back to the direction that my bus came from and then take my right and that's exactly what i'm doing that's why you can see the blue uh the blue dots moving that is me walking to my next bus stop so that i can catch this second bus so this is uh everything you need to know about using the map it is so easy it is so user friendly and uh, i'd love to hear your experience uh using my tutorial
I hope you got value from this video and if you did please like comment and share with any of your friends that are learning to use the map and you might just be helping someone who is in need and also you'll be motivating me to create information more and more thank you guys for watching till the end